welcome, welcome. It's a beautiful Monday here in Texas. It's a, even though it's cold here in Texas, but it's beautiful, it's lovely, and uh, we love it. And I believe you are all, uh, you're also loving where you are right now. My name is Olua Kemisola at DBC, uh, popularly known as Elegant, and I am happy to be on your screen this evening. I am happy to be with you. I'm happy to see you again. Yeah, last week we were unable to be to go on live, uh, you know, due to one or two reasons. But I thank God I am able, you know, to come back to your screen today to share my knowledge, the little knowledge I have with you. It's all about business. The program is Business Talk. The program is Business Talk, and this is a forum where we talk about business, where we share minds together. We also bring, uh, you know, uh, uh, entrepreneur who are in business, the CEOs who are doing well in their businesses. We also bring them to you on this program to share their experience. And then we also talk about uh, how to go into business, how to maintain your stay in business, how to be successful in business, and how you can do it to get some funds for your business. Today is going to be very different because today I do not have a guest for you. Yes, but it's going to be a very, you know, short program and it's going to be very informative and educating. My name is Kemisola Adebisi, the CEO of Elegant Braiding and Weave Palace and also Elegant uh, School of Braids and Weave here in Dallas. I want you to please, uh, for those of you that are, you know, joining us live right now on Facebook, we want you to share this program. We want you to share, share, share with your friends and family. Tell them the program has started. And uh, we I'm here right now to share my knowledge with you. And today we're going to talk about steps uh, to start your own business. Steps to start your own business is what we're going to talk about today. But before I go fully into the steps, I would like to take a very short uh, musical break. And I will be back with you very soon. Stay tuned and don't go. Business Talk Love with Kemi Elegant. Every Monday at 5 p.m. Central Time. Join Kemi at the BC every Monday on Business Talk. Make money, be your own boss. Business Talk. Business Talk with Kemi Elegant. Every Monday at 5 p.m. Central Time. Join Kemi at the BC every Monday on Business Talk. today my name is Olua Kemisala at DBC and I am happy to be with you today today we are talking about the steps to take step to start your home business for those of you that like to do business for those of you that be, that want to be a CEO you want to be able to be your own CEO you want to start your own business you want to make more money you want to be able to control your own time business is a very good thing and then we have more more than 10,000 type of business in what that you can do and have it at the back of your mind that if you are into business, you are actually helping some people to solve their problem. Because doing business is like solving people's problem. The type of problem they have determines the type of business you do. In one way or the other, everyone in business are solving people's problem. If you are uh, into a sewing, uh, like you sewing clothes, a fashion designer, a fashion business, you are helping people, you know, who uh, need the, 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 the line of, uh, you know, uh, looking good, you know physically and also their makeup their dresses and everything is what you do if you are into uh maybe you are you are you, you have a school or you have a daycare you helping people that need a place to put their children to take care of their children what am i trying to say directly or indirectly when you are in business you are solving people's problem and i also want you to please share this program if you are watching me today the first thing i want to talk about last week uh, i mean two weeks ago we discuss about the steps you can take in starting business. And I believe that the first thing I discussed about last and then was uh, identify, you know, your business, uh, uh, the vision and the dream behind the type of business you want to do. And I remember I discussed about you to understand the type of business you want to do, the type of passion you have, the type of vision you have, the type of dream you have will determine the type of business you can do or you would venture into. 
that will make you successful and prosperous. So it depends on the type of business you want to do that will tell if, you know, you, you, you know, you can go far or not. For somebody that cannot talk, you cannot go into a communication business for too long. You probably might have issue. For somebody who cannot swim, you cannot go into swimming business. You understand? I'm just using that as an idea. If you if you you cannot address people, you can't talk to people. I wouldn't advise you to go into buying and selling directly. You understand? You can rather do it online, where people will chat with your company online, and you can be able to chat with them instead of you. Because some people cannot convince people to buy a particular product. So for you to be able to convince people to buy your product, you must be somebody that can talk, you can chat, you can be cheerful, and you know how to convince people directly, moderately, and decently to you know come to to make them to buy your own product. So we talk about. You, your ability to identify the type of business you want to do. And secondly, I also talk about you identifying the type of market, conduct a market research for the business you want to do. For instance, if you want to go into buying and selling in your environment, in your community, you want to research the type of product to buy, the type of product to sell. Who are my, who are my clients? Who are my consumer? Who are the people that are consuming the product that I want to sell? And in what way can I, you know, I distribute the product to them? Can I reach out to my consumers? How will I reach out to them? And in what way can they be able to buy my products? And again, and um, your ability to identify your market research is very, 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 very important. It is very important for you to identify your market research. Another thing I want to talk about like that I talk about is write your business plan. It is very, very important for you to have a business plan. You cannot do a business without having a business plan. It is, it is known that if you fail to plan, you will plan to fail. And this is why I am encouraging you. Before you start any business, write a business plan for yourself. Your business plan includes a lot of stuff. The first thing you want to identify in your business plan is you must understand you must understand the details of your business, the type of business you want to do, what your business in, entails, and how you can successfully run the business. For those of you that are online, Mr. Shei Shalom says, we are here. Wonderful show to watch. Thank you, Mr. Shei. God bless you for watching. Uh, for those of you that are online, uh, Convenant House, Please inbox us your phone contact. Thanks. Convenant House, I surely will do. Thank you so much. Um, and Convenant House, Akilolu and Shei Shalom, they are watching. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you for watching. We want you to share this program if you are enjoying it. Share it so that people who want to do business can have an idea and they can be blessed. I have Miss uh, Kemi. Bang Balasha is watching. and Kemi, God bless you. I have Jola Yemi Dare also watching. God bless you. Please share this program to people who want to be in business so they can know how to start and where to start. Another thing I want you to also have in mind when you are when you are writing your business plan is you have to take, although writing a business plan takes time, but if you know the type of business you want to do, it is very, very easy for you to write the business plan. Business plan entails the type of business you want to do, the location you want to, to do, to, to, you want to start your business at, um, your <laughs> consumer, you want to identify your consumer, you want to identify, uh, you know, the location uh, of which you want to start your business. Your business plan includes a whole lot of stuff. So today, I'm going to jump right now today, and I'm going to move to um, finding a location for your business. Finding a location for your business. It is not all business that you can do with a, a particular location. There are some business you can do without a, a location. In this generation, a lot of business are being transacted online. A lot of people are into online business. A lot of things you can sell online, like having a website for yourself, putting your product online. They are very, very they are out there and people are doing that. But what about the business that you don't want to go online? You want to have a like a, a particular location, maybe renting a, a space for yourself, a store for yourself, for your business. So the location you want to open for your business is very, very important. The type of location you want to or you want to use for your business is important. I always advise people whenever you want to choose a location. Choose a location that pertains to your consumer, to your product. A, 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 product, a, a location that is 
focusing on your product that can be be an advantage to your product. If you can notice, most of these big companies that are that have stores, they do not open their stores in a hidden place. As much as Walmart has names in in America, all. Walmart locations are always in a place that people can easily locate. You want to also do the same thing for yourself. Make sure your business in, is in an open place, very close to a traffic place where, tra where uh, I mean, uh, uh, um, transportation is easy. Transport, transportation is easy. People are moving from one place to another. You know, it's very easy for people to locate your place. Don't open a locate a store in a very close place or in a very in a place that is not open to people. It probably might affect your your business. You understand? So your location is very very important. You also want to do a feasibility study of the people around your location. For example, if you are selling, you may be pro for example, you are selling a uh, uh, maybe food, or you are into um, any any selling. For example, maybe you are selling phones. Okay, and then you want to you want to put your location in a place that it will be very easy for people to access. It must be an accessible place for your for your consumer, your 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 um, people patronizing you to reach you. Two, you also want to know the number of working class people in that area, the number of people who are working, the number of people who are not working, middle class, non-middle class, high class or non-high class. This will be a very good benefit for you because if you are selling products worth of about uh, uh, $500, $300 in your store, each product, for example, you are selling this pen and this pen worth $500. You don't want to open your location in a in a place that there is no high class people, in a location that people are who are not earning high are not living. For example, where well, I stay in Texas, and if you open a location, you have to access it in a place where high class people are that can afford the product you sell. People who can afford your product, you have to open your location in that area, as this will help your business and promote your business. I also see Olorun, Olorun Nishomo Kemi watching. Thank you for watching. Bukola Israel is also watching. Thank you for watching. Please share this program. Share it, share it for people to know that the program is live. Another thing you want to put in mind after, remember the first one is conduct a market research for your product. I mean the first one is develop an idea, a vision for your business. Number two, conduct a market research for your business. Number three, business plan. Number four, location. Number five, fund in business. How can you get fund for your business? Most people have a vision for their business. They know how to start, but they do not know how to get fund for their business. To get a fund for your business is very, very important because if you want to go into business and you do not have capital, it can hinder you from, you know, starting the business. A capital is very, very important. Money is everything. If you want to start a business and you don't have money, it's going to be very tough for you to launch out. It is going to be very, very tough for you to launch out. So, number one thing you want to do when you want to start your business with you know, there are a lot of business you can do with no capital or little capital. But when we are talking about good business, big business that you want to do with, uh, and you need a fund, you have to have a very good uh, credit score for you to be able to apply to banks. Some banks can loan you money. We have some small, uh, you know, um, uh, companies that can loan you money. Next week, I will share with you how to get fund for your business. That will be next week. So... Um, another thing I want to talk about is structure. What type of structure do you have? Do you want to have for your business? Do, is your business gonna be a sole proprietorship? Is it gonna be um, a limited liability? Is it gonna be a joint business? What type of business are you planning to do? Your vision will determine the type of business you want to do. The capital you have will also determine if your structure is going to be a sole proprietorship or a limited liability or whatsoever you want it to be. But you must have that in mind and you must plan towards it and work towards it. 
another thing I want to talk about, I have Elizabeth. Bukola Israel is watching. Elizabeth Ogunlaja, thank you for watching. Adekunle Joshua Adebisi, thank you for watching. Prince Adeleke, thank you so much for watching the program. I want you to please share the program, and I would like you to comment on the program for us to know that you are really communicating. I have said uh, about five steps to starting business. If you are watching me and your mind is here, let me see your comments. What are the process that I have given to you? What are the steps that I just gave to you? Number one step is identify the business name, vision, and dream for your business. Number two, conduct a market research. Number three, have a, a business plan. Number four, Get a fund, fund or capital for your business. Number five, location. Get a very good strategic location for your business. Number six, plan, have a, a business structure. Plan a business structure. So I want you to start com um, you know, commenting on, this, on the show now. Let me know if your mind is here. At least give me one out of the six steps that I have mentioned. Give me one out of the six steps that I have mentioned. And uh, I can see all of you on the screen. Convenant House, Shehi Shalom, uh, Kemi Gangbalasha, Jaye, uh, Jaye, Jolayemi Dare, Joshua, Oshunro Timi, Kemi Gangbalasha, God bless you too, sis. I love you. Hola, Oni Shomo, Kemi Bukola, Israel, Elizabeth, Ogunlaja, Adekunle Joshua, Prince Adeleke. Okay, this is the test for you now. Write one out of the five steps that I have just mentioned and let me know if your mind is actually here. You know I love you and I want you to assimilate what I am, you know, giving out to you. And for those of you that like to call on the program, I want to go on a very short musical break. When I come back, I'm going to let you know the the uh, studio line to call in onto the program so we can chat and discuss with each other more. Thank you so much. Don't go. Stay tuned. I want to go on a, a musical break and I'll be back. Thank you. Business Talk with Kemi Elegant, every Monday at 5 p.m. Central Time. Join Kemi at DBC every Monday on Business Talk. Make money, be your own boss. Business Talk. Business Talk with Kemi Elegant, every Monday at 5 p.m. Central Time. Join Kemi at DBC every Monday on Business Talk. Make money, be your own boss. Business Talk. Business Talk with Kemi Elegant. Every Monday at 5 p.m. Central Time. Join Kemi at DBC every Monday on Business Talk. Make money, be your own boss. Business Talk. Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to the show. It's all about business talk, uh, and it's a beautiful evening here in Texas. Thank you so much for those of you that are on the screen, you know, watching this program. It's all about business talk, and today we are talking about steps to start your own business, what you need to do to start your own business. And uh, today also, um, we are discussing about the steps, and I believe those of you watching me who had already heard about the steps, I would like you to comment on the screen for me to know if your mind is actually here. I love you for joining. God bless you. The number to call on to join the program today is 817-717-5685. 817-717-5685. Eight, five. You can call on the show to ask any question you want to ask or if you want to comment or you want to do anything, you are free to do that. Let's rub mine together. Let's share, you know, our thoughts and our, you know, mind together. So the sixth uh, steps you need to take is your business name. Business name is very, very important. If you have a business, you need to have a very good attractive names that people can easily remember, names that can attract people to your business. It is very, very, very easy. I mean, very, very important for you to have a good business name for your business. Then the name will determine the type of business you do. Uh, Bola Olobe, and see Bola, thank you so much. I've missed you quite a long time. Oba Femi Joseph, Oluashe, God bless you. God bless you so much. Ekunda yo. Oh, Logan, thank you. I love you, love you, love you, love you. All right, now, 
Business name is very, very important. You must have a very good business name for yourself. It's not that you want to have, or maybe you want to open a store, uh, uh, like, um, let me say, what type of business can I use an example? as an example? Maybe you have a tax business. You are doing tax for people, and you now call your tax uh, business, and God is able tax. It's too long. Not everybody will, understand, will, will remember that. But look for a very good name that you can give to your business. Now, I'm not saying God is able is not good, but I'm talking about names that we make people to, that we give, you know, the, the business name determines, gives people a kind of idea of what the business is all about. So let your name, when people hear the name, let it ring bell. Let it be a name that people can easily remember. Let it be a name that can even give your business a good image out there. You understand so and you can you can get your business name in so many ways pray to god to give you a good business name sit down you can use your name as a business name you can form any anything to make a business name but make sure you choose a very good business name that people can easily remember another thing is you have to register your business registering your business you have to go to your state or to your your city to get your business registered. It is very, very important for you to register your business because if you don't register your business, it's not gonna help you at all. And uh, it's, you know, this is this is America. You have, to, you have to make sure your business are registered. So you can register your business in the state, uh, in the city, wherever city you are, go to the city, go get your name registered. It's very cheap, it's not expensive to register a business. I think with about $25, you get your business, your business registered. It's very, very easy. You have to do that for you to launch out in your business. Another thing is you have to get a federal tax ID. You need a federal tax ID. If your business is all about, uh, you know, if you're doing a lot of transaction on your business, buying and selling especially, you have to do tax, you know, because you're, if, you don't, if you don't charge tax, the government will actually collect the tax from you and you don't want to be the one paying for it. Mm. So you want to, you want to, you know, do, go into, I mean, you, you want to register, have an, a tax ID, whereby when people pay, you can charge them tax and you can pay the tax back to the government and you can pay your tax by, back to government weekly, monthly or by a uh, monthly it depends on the plan you do with the city when you go to to the city and you make sure you pay your tax is very very important you don't want to owe the government or else your business might be in problem so another thing you want to do is you need a permit or license for your business the type of business you do determine the type of permits you get for those of you that want to open a restaurant, you need to get a, a restaurant permit. You go to the Ministry of uh, Food and Agriculture or something and get your license from there. You want to have a salon like me, I have a salon. Uh, well, it depends on the type of business you do. If you are into a real, uh, you know, um, cosmetology, you have to go to cosmetology school. After going to cosmetology school, acquire your license. When you get your license, you can start your business. Being a cosmetologist, you need a license. And if you are just going into normal salon like braiding, the braiding business do not need a license. But you need to be certified. Be certified to do it. Another thing is whatsoever business you want to do, there are always uh, permits for you to get before you can open a business location. So go to the city, get a permit for that type of business that you wish to do. It's going to be a very good help for you. And um, it's going to uh, you know, help the they the help your business to grow and you will have you know peace of mind in running your business i have olusoya ogunla de watching about femi joshua i have a common ayomi he says great show thank you mr uh mr ayomi thank you for watching it's very very important for you to also get a, a license or any permit for your business is very important don't start a business without getting all this another thing you want to do is you want to open a business bank account when you have a business bank account if you run your business bank account in a very good way i assure you that in the next six to one year you will qualify for a very good loan from whatsoever bank you use a business that do, does not run a good business bank account might not be able to have to get loan from banks or from a private individual. Make sure you open a business bank account. Make sure you open a, a business credit line for your business. And make sure you run your bank account and your business line in a very good way that will enable you in, in six to one year to, 
to be able to get a loan from the bank. This is very, very, very important. For those of you that like to call on into the program, the number to call is 817-717-5685. 817-717-5685. I'm ready to receive your call anytime. Uh, feel free to call into the program. Yeah, my name is Olua Kemisola Adebisi, and the show is Business Talk. Business Talk. I'm expecting you to share the program. I want you to please share the program. Share, 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 as this is going to help you. Uh, you have to be to make people to be a blessing. It's very, 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 very important. Like last week, I discussed about uh, market analysis. And I told you, you have to do a market analysis for your business. Number one thing is, for you to do a, a good market analysis for your business, you have to understand the industry, the type of business you are doing. If you don't have a good understanding of your business, you probably might not be able to, you know, flourish and prosper in that business. You have to know the in and out, the, the outward and the in-depth of the type of business you want to do. And the market analysis, it's all about you understanding your business. You, if you understand your business, you, are be able, you will be able to analyze your business, your client, your, your consumer, your location, your prospects, and everything. You want to understand, you want to know your target market. You want to know your targeted consumer. You understand? You want to be able to target a particular set of consumer. If you don't do this, you probably might miss it. It's very, very important for you to understand your consumer. For example, if you sell makeup, you sell makeup material, and then uh, you are targeting the uh, women of uh, 80, 90 years, 100 years, you probably might not have a good market in that. But with somebody that is selling makeup equipment or makeup materials, you have to target young women, young ladies, from the age of 18 or 16 to the age of 50. These are the people that are buying makeup material. Even I can say from age 18 to age 40, they buy makeup, you know, material. In fact, they really buy it, they consume the product really good. So for you to understand it, you have to know your target, targeted consumer, as this will help you to do well. You also want to understand your competitive, your competitor. The people that are competing, that you are doing the same business together, they are your competitors. You want to understand them. You want to know them. You want to know how they go about their, their businesses and how you can go about yours too that will make you. Because if we have two companies selling the same product, I want you to know that both of you are competitors to each other. And nobody will open his or her eyes and look at other business competing with his or her home business. Everybody targets the same audience. You all target, target the same consumers. So you want to do your own in a way that will make you stand out. This is what you want to do. You want to do it in the same way that will make you stand out. Look at Target and Walmart. They sell almost the same thing, but I bet it with you that the audience, the consumers of Target are a little bit quite different from the consumers of Walmart. Look at Kroger. The consumers of Kroger are also different from the consumers of Walmart. Yet, they sell the same thing, but they have different approach they use to target their audience. You want to develop your own approach to target your own audience, as this is going to be a very good help to you. As you can see, Kroger has, uh, they has a, 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 um, a Kroger card that if you have the card, when you buy stuff, you get some percentage out of the stuff. At the end of the day, if you go to Kroger, you, pu you purchase a stuff of, stuff of $100, you probably might end up paying $90. But if you go to Walmart, there is nothing like that. Maybe probably Walmart has it, but I'm not sure if Walmart has something like that. You can see the approach of which the, the, the two different companies use to, uh, to, to target their consumers. You have to target your consumer in such a way that we make them to stay. That's very, very important. Another thing you want to do is you also have to know the reason why your consumer is doing what he or she is doing to get his or her. Why your competitor is doing what he or she is doing to get the consumers. You want to target it so that you can know how to go about yours. You can go ahead of, you know, your competitor. Another thing, you want to do it better than him or her. You want to do it better than your, your, your competitor. 
as this will also help you to you know do well in this business thank you so much everybody that are on the show today it's uh it's not gonna be too long today uh because we do not have a guest but i promise you next week is gonna be a wonderful week because i'm gonna have a beautiful guest in the house and you're gonna enjoy her the reason why i always love to bring this program to you is to encourage those of you that want to be in business or those of you that are already in business business is good business is lucrative but you have it's challenging but you know good things is meant for people that are tough you have to be tough and you have to be ready to make it in life life is easy for those that are ready to make you know to take move and to take steps until next week when i will come to your screen my name still remains Olua Kemisola at DBC. Don't forget all the steps we discussed today. The 10 steps we discussed today, do not forget. Write them down. Start working on them. And by this time next week, I want you to open your own business and start your own business. Be your own CEO. If I can do it, you can also do it. My producer, um, the director of this program, Alihaji Casey, and the CEO of our distance radio here in Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate this opportunity. And I also want to use this time to appreciate my husband, Mr. Kola Wale Adebisi. Love you so much. Thank you for always being there for me. I appreciate you. Kemik Bang Balasha, I love you. Wale Adeyi, thank you, sir, for joining. Uh, Uncle Wale, God bless you for joining. Until next week, don't forget the step we shared today. Work on those steps so you can be your own CEO. Business is good. Business is lucrative, but you have to take step. If you don't take step, you can never start. If I can do it, you can also do it. Until next week when I will see you, I want to say a very big shout out to everybody that joined the program today online. Please remember to share this program. Please share, 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 share. If you love me, share this program. As you are sharing it, I believe your friends and family who are having problems in starting their business will be able to, you know, have an idea of what it takes to start a business. Until next week when I see you, my name still remains Kemisola at DBC. Thank you so much. See you next week. This time, next week. Bye. Business Talk with Kemi Elegant. Every Monday at 5 p.m. Central Time. Join Kemi at DBC every Monday on Business Talk. Make money. 